Lord Montague, a special day for Bewley today, a, a great connection with motoring and also with Bond. It must be fantastic to see the Bond exhibition finally on. Yes, it is thrilling. I mean, the producers of the film had to be very patient themselves with COVID delaying the release by 18 months. And similarly, it feels that, you know, we're coming out of COVID too with this exhibition. We are, of course, about telling the history of motoring right up to the present. And so, you know, when the, a film comes out which, which features cars so prominently, um, it's absolutely right that, you know, we, we should partner with the producers, E.ON, uh, to, to show off, uh, you know, all, all the vehicles that appear in it, which is exactly what we've done. And I'm sure that people who come round to look at the exhibition will be amazed about what you've actually managed to get here. How, how long does it take to source all of the props, the gadgets, and of course the amazing cars? Well, happily, because we are working with E.ON, they actually have arranged it all for us. Uh, we, we have to do the exhibition design, we have to think about how to fit it into the museum, which already has rather a lot of cars in it, uh, and how to exhibit them. But thankfully, uh, we, we have a, 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 an established relationship with E.ON, because before uh, this we had the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang exhibition, before that, uh, 50 years of James Bond. And their archivist and other people at, 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 at the Ian Fleming Foundation work very closely with us and thankfully line everything up for us. And, and as well as the cars, we've got a showcase full of things uh, uh, connected to the film as well. And for you personally, when it comes to Bond, what's your favourite car, as if I didn't know? Well, we are standing, <laughs> next, we are standing next to one of the yeah. DB5s. Um, I learned today that, uh, I mean, I wasn't surprised to learn that more than one was used in the film, but what I hadn't appreciated was that all the ones in the film were specially made for the film. They are not production numbers at all, and they are not normal road cars, but they, they still look just as good. Yeah, I mean, it's breathtaking, isn't it, when you unveiled it, and some of the little, little gadgets. I did not know about the number plates, with the LED number plates. In, indeed, and uh, I mean, obviously, film aficionados are aware of all these details like you know what number is on what car and, and then if the, uh, you know the car appears again in a later film they've got to make sure they've got that same number which can cause a problem if the yeah. number is then reassigned yeah absolutely so um it, the exhibition is on now people want to come down and they can find out a lot more about the new film no time to die absolutely i, I don't know whether to recommend seeing the film first and then comes the exhibition or the other way around but i i it, it, I actually think it's quite good to see the exhibition first because you see everything close up and then you can, can go and see it in the cinema. You see, I haven't yet and I love it because I'm going to watch the film and I'm going to be able to see all this and say I've seen it up close and personal. Lord Montague, thank you very much. Thank you.